Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. I got yet another, I'm guessing this is a Christmas gift. I have no idea. Honestly, I just know it's from Andrew Weeble. So this is from Drew. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't believe he told me he was sending me anything. Could be wrong. <coughs> but I also got a uh, envelope in the day from McDorks. So this is their oh, with the old uh, McDorks pop name, but I love them. I recently did uh, the cookie decorating video again or live stream again with them this year. So if you have didn't catch it live, definitely go check out the replay. This is their Halloween sticker from this year, and if you didn't know, on their TikTok and their Instagram, uh, Michael and Christian actually did dress up as Scarlet Witch and Vision, and it was the most amazing thing. <laughs> Ever. And this is their holographic uh, Christmas sticker as them dressed as uh, Santa and technically Santa Jack <laughs> or uh, Snowman Jack. But that is very cute. Thank you guys. And along with these stickers, they also sent me their little, I guess this is what they're doing for like their Christmas card this year. It says, Wishing your family happy, wishing you and your family happy holidays. And it's them at Disney World very very cute guys thank you so much this is awesome thank you so much uh so i definitely will be linking the mcdorps in the description box below and i'll also be linking andrew andrew i don't feel like should need an introduction because if you're in this community chances are you know him uh he's one of the biggest supporters i know uh he comments on all of my videos and I know he does many, many others as well. I mean, he's just a nice, sweet dude. And we both have that uh, DC love <laughs> together. We're both DC nuts. So, okay. There's a lot of little things wrapped up in here. So, let me get everything out. Okay, I do see a note. Good. Okay, so. Oh, <laughs> it's Peacemaker wrapping paper. Funko wrapping paper. That's cute. Okay, so there's three things wrapped up. Let's get to the note. I don't believe... Again, I don't believe he told me he was sending me anything, so this is awesome. Uh, Caitlin, Merry Christmas. I know this is not much, but I hope you enjoy the these. They came from my mom's personal collection. Ooh. I know she would want someone to ha have these that share shares the love she had for Disney, Drew, and family. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. That's... That, that actually means a lot to me. Thank you. So, okay, so it's Disney stuff. So, I don't know. I'm just going to start with this one. It feels like there's bubble wrap around it. Yeah. So, so it's this. And then I have to get through the bubble wrap layer. Good thing I didn't put my knife up. So, oh, wait, no, there's no tape. Good. Oh, my God. Oh, that's damn cute. Okay. Pongo and that's definitely not Patrick Rowley. I'm going to say this is Lucky from 101 Dalmatians. It's a little figurine. That is very cute. I recently, <laughs> I, I didn't feel like watching the entire 101 Dalmatians. I skipped to the end. Because <laughs> at the end, you know, it's Christmas. <laughs> So I got in the mood to just see the end of 101 Dalmatians. I used to watch that movie so many times as a kid. Uh, where they get all covered in soot was one of my favorite parts where they roll around it to disguise themselves. But this is very, very cute. Thank you. Okay, that's really cool. All right, so there's another one that feels like it's wrapped in bubble wrap. Looks like another figurine like that one. Oh, it's Simba! Oh, that's cool. So this one is Simba from The Lion King. So far, movies I've seen. That's a plus. <laughs> that's a plus. That is cool. He's got one of those big jungle leaves next to him. Where are these from? It doesn't say anything. It's made out of the same material. Like, the feel of it... It feels like I'm holding, like, a Precious Moments statue. You guys know the feel of those. These are really cool. I really like these a lot. Wow. 
Okay, I'm putting them on my desk so they don't fall over. All right, there's one more thing here. This one's more flat, so. Oh, it's another envelope. What the? Was I supposed to open this one first? Because it didn't say it. Oh, cool. Okay. First off, there's his sticker. I don't think I've ever gotten his sticker before, but it's Gotham City Collectibles. That's his uh, handle on YouTube and on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. You're hitting every fandom right now. <laughs> Not just Disney. Okay. So, it's the... Okay. The, it's actually kind of sentimental in a way, too. These, uh promotional $1,000 bills. So we got one for Monster High, and this is so cool. So we have a Dracula, Agulia, Laguna, Frankie, Claudine. We have Rochelle, and then looks like a human Frankie on that one. Uh, but yeah, it talks about Monster High and stuff. What does the back look like for this one? Oh, it's a still from one of the movies, or a couple of the mo movies. So you have Twyla and Howleen. This one you have Rochelle and Garrett. And that's Spectra. I'm not sure who these other two characters are, but that's Spectra. That is really cool. <laughs> Ghoul's Roll Hallway. That is awesome. And this one is Wonder Woman. Needs no introduction. So, a bunch of different artworks about Wonder Woman. And her says, above all else, be young. <laughs> it's easy to say when you're immortal, Diana. And <laughs> this one, wait, is there... Oh, there's four. Okay, these two got stuck to each other. Hell. So, this one is Sailor Moon. Oh, my God. So, it's got uh, Usagi and then the silhouette. And then on the back, it's got all five of the Inner Scouts. Or any Senshi, whichever one. Protectors of the Galaxy. And then, finally, my favorite Marvel character, Storm. <laughs> and then on the back is the uh, Halle Berry version. That is cool. And the reason why it's a little sentimental... When I was on vacation as a kid, uh, we were at a theme park, and on one of the rides, we ended up sitting next to an older woman, who I guess she was there by herself, uh, and I was little, because I know I was still at grub school, and that was kindergarten through second grade, and she pulled out one of those fake $1,000 bills, like not with the ones with like cartoon characters on them, but it looked official, but obviously not, and she's like... Like, she handed it to me, to me and said, now you can go back to school and brag about being a millionaire. So, I've always remembered that. I don't know what happened to it. I know I kept it for a while, but I guess it just got lost over time. But I do still remember that. Uh, and I thought it was very, very cute. So, that is awesome. But that was not the only thing in this little envelope. I saw Christina open these. Not gonna lie, I got a little jealous. Now I don't have to be jealous. <laughs> he got these uh, Batman anime series like trading cards. Oh my god. Okay, they're all stuck together. So let me pull them apart. It's just the static that's holding them together. Okay. So I guess each one is like based on an episode. Yeah, because this is definitely... This is... Yeah, this is Phantasm. So, remember that pop that came out for Batman the Anime Series that looked like, you know, a robotic version of Scream? That's her. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, he's really cool. I'm like, it's a girl. <laughs> but, and Andrea ba Balmont, yeah. I'm not going to read the whole th thing, but it was like talking about her as a character, which is cool. And she was also in Batman, no, she was in uh, Just League Unlimited. Not Batman Beyond, just like I it. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know why I got confused. And here's one with Mr. Freeze on it for Heart of Ice. Uh, this, this still, right here, still to this day, it breaks my heart. <laughs> like, he was a bad guy, but he didn't mean to be. But <laughs> The cat and the claw. Oh my god, I love this, this one. Oh, anyone with Catwoman in it, I just love it. And this is the one one where it was like an auction for a date with him that is cool let's see this one oh this is also mask of the phantasm it's been a little forever since i've seen this i recognized andrea but there's another still from that and it's talking about the actual 
plot there. And then this one, just iconic silhouette, also from Mask of the Phantasm. Okay. So, I mean, it was an iconic, like, three-part episode or something. But these cards are so damn cool. I used to have a set of the Justice League animated series ones. And I know I put it in a binder. And when we were moving to this house, I tried looking for it. I thought I knew where it was. No freaking clue what happened to it. So, I'm going to have to try and get the set again one day. But these are all very, very cool. And Andrew, I can't thank you enough for sharing, you know, your mom's collection with me. That means a lot. It really does. Uh, that you thought of me enough to think of that. So, thank you so much. Um, but yes, I will be leaving links again for both Andrew and the McDorks uh, in the description box below. So, if you haven't checked them out yet, please do. Because they're awesome people, but... Oh, that's cool. So, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys had a great, great holiday. Maybe this is coming out for Christmas. Probably not. If it is, I hope you have a good holiday. If not, I hope you had one. But thank you all so much for watching. Remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.